we'll try the other flank. With Hardy, who has one extra man tally today. Hardy on the look away. Carroll just missed. Jordan Burke setting the defense, directing traffic from the crease. Rubio on the restart. Nearly two minutes into quarter three. Hardy jukes to the outside away from the physical customer, Jack Reed. Gladding, skip a man, hunt, stand by Burke. Hunt shoots lasers from the outside. Terrific pass by Gladding through the defense. He's out the scene, the ball reversal. With Chesapeake, the extra man, a really, really solid save by Burke. The tendency sometimes on those overhand releases to drop down as a goal. We had good discipline. Right there. Left hand. Offside boss and gives the ball back to Chesapeake. They maneuver in quickly on the restart and all alone is gliding. He beats the ball. Joe, you called it anticipating the whistle. Every restart, you want to get the ball as quickly as possible and have your head up. Mark Airman leaves it for Abbott and he is the king of the restart. He made a living at Syracuse University by handling all dead ball situations. Not sure what Boston was doing defensively, and the cherry picker gliding behind the Canvas defense. Matt Abbott, who's Dad Thomas, a lacrosse official. Matt shared with us during the season how much he was benefited by that, the development stages of his lacrosse career. Abbott won two rings while at Syracuse, and I always felt that he was the MVP of those teams. His overall contribution, whether it's playing defense, getting ground balls, clearing the ball. Today, he's got multiple points. Championships for the Orange in 08 and 09. Boston in possession, High, who has struck today against Chris Garrity, the former candidate. This one is set wide. Boyle is there to back it up. It's 7-5 Chesapeake as we near the four-minute mark of the third. I don't understand why Rabel is not handling all of these dead balls. Boyle does on this occasion. A soft shot that's routine for a kneeling Chris Garrity. Hartzell moves it on for Reynolds, and he'll stride confidently into the attack zone for Chesapeake. Pawns it off to the Bayhawks leading point producer, Andy Gladding, top six in Major League Lacrosse this summer when it comes to total points. Rochester's Ned Crotty led Major League Lacrosse in total points this year. Rochester and Long Island not qualifying for the postseason. Brooks on the run, Rabel picks him up defensively. Impressive lead on the back end for Boston. It's Cannon's ball. The Wild will not jump off the page at you. But 85 out of Cornell played for Jeff Tambroni for some very, very good big red defenses. Uh, is as tough as nails. Excellent in his holds at the goal line extended. Drops his hips down low. He can match feet with the fastest in the game. And he's a very, very powerful man. Buchanan on the move now. This time last year, Chris Passavia, Ryan McClay would have been out there defensively for Boston. On the jump shot, it's sailed well wide by Mike Stone. This is the last year to shoot. Whip down and he scores! Craig Downing. That is the second time this afternoon that Max Quinzani has done just what you said, Joe, made something out of nothing. Earlier in this ball game, he generated the turnover while riding. Nice move about his ability off the ground, around the net. Duxbury, mass product, Quinzani, so quick, so skillful, gets that ball into his cross, Dowling cuts the crease, boom, boom, quick goal. Good news for Boston Q. A team that is talent rich with goal scorers. Greg Downey didn't have a goal over his last seven games of the regular season summer. But he's on the board there. Had a two-goal game against Chesapeake earlier this season. 7-6. Bayhawks clinging to the lead. Boston getting more and more possessions. Buchanan always a threat. Downey comes to help. And then Rabel tiptoes in off the sideline. Against Reynolds, full sprint on the throwback to Hyde. Over top of the net. Automatic double team flashes upfield at Rabel. He's willing to share the ball with his teammates. And then you have, you have a 